In this video, I'm gonna show you how we manage our entire SEO agency from a single spreadsheet. Let's get into it. Let me preface this by saying Google Sheets was not our first choice for a project management system. We had tried everything else, Asana, Basecamp, Trello, literally everything out there. But we arrived at Google Sheets because all of those platforms, while awesome, are not built for the specific needs of an SEO agency. Those platforms are all great for task management, but not project management. And specifically, again, the needs of an SEO agency, content marketing, link building, working with people in different time zones, freelancers, contractors, in-house employees, clients. With those other platforms, we had to change our internal processes in order to adhere to the software because you can't customize them. Whereas with Google Sheets, it's completely open source. We're able to bend the needs of the tool to meet our processes exactly. So let me jump in here and show you exactly how that works. So I want to apologize ahead of time because if you're not used to looking at spreadsheets, this can be a little bit overwhelming. So bear with me as I run you through this kind of step by step. We have four very simple tabs in here, tasks, deliverables, actions, and clients. Clients is just a simply a running list of all the clients that we have and all the information that we collect during the onboarding process. So we have everything that we need in order to manage that client on a daily basis without having to hit them up. And that's a very common theme that you're going to see throughout this presentation is that we really want to try and cut down on communication, cut down on the back and forth and give our staff everything they need every day to show up and get what they need done without having to go out of the way to ask someone who might be in London, who might be in Pakistan, who might be here in the U.S. in different time zones for something that they need. It's all built for hands free management and for people to just show up and get their job done without any headaches. The main day-to-day -day action takes place here in the tasks tab, and this is all dependent on what the role is within the agency. We loosely break it down into really two main roles. We call them doers and we call them reviewers. The doers are the ones that are the junior analysts. They're going to be the ones that are doing the actual tasks like keyword research, the tech SEO audits, building the monthly reports, etc. And then after they do them, we want to make sure that they get reviewed by somebody a little more senior, aka the reviewers, who are then going to be the ones who review the deliverable, make sure it's cool, and then manage the communication with the clients, sending them deliverables, writing the emails, and then also scheduling follow-up calls, jumping on a Zoom call to review the deliverables. So we wanted to build that flow naturally into this system, and I'm going to show you exactly how that works. So it all starts with a start date and a due date. The start date is just when the task starts. The due date is when we want to try and get that done to the client. We then have our uh, team broken down here by the doers, so all the team automatically is going to pull through into this drop down. So when we're building project plans, we can simply assign it to whoever need. Over here, this is just the client. These are all added in automatically. I'm going to show you how we do that in a second. The next one over here is a running list of all the deliverables that we do within our agency. So again, when we're building project plans, we have these things preloaded so we don't have to waste any time trying to figure out what we're doing. So then we have the task here. So uh, when it comes to getting a deliverable done, like a technical SEO audit, for example, there's multiple tasks that need to get done in order to get the deliverable done. For example, pulling the data, uh, setting up the template, going through and actually doing it, building the report off the back end of that. Those are four potential tasks that might map to the deliverable. So you might have four different tasks mapping to the same deliverable for the same client. That allows us to maybe assign different tasks to different people. Maybe we want to have somebody on our offshore team pulling the data, somebody in our local office and doing the review. That allows us to be a lot more flexible and agile with how we're assigning tasks and completing deliverables. And then uh, what you'll see over here too, let me get my help the way, is we use comments in here. And again, this is why I love Google Sheets too. We use comments in here for internal communications on these tasks. All you have to do is just simply right click, add a comment, and then tag someone. Like if I wanted to tag myself, any of these folks here, uh, and then I can type something in, assign it to them, and when I click comment, it's going to get sent to their email. And what's cool about Sheets too is that once it's in the email, they don't have to log back into the Sheets. They can actually reply to the thread from the email. So we've got that kind of automatic task pinging thing that a lot of other platforms have. Sheets has that built in here natively. And then simply, obviously, all the different statuses that we have here, uh, just f tracking the flow of the deliverables as they go through the process. And then once they're being worked on too, we like to include the links in here. So that way, again, we're not having to chase people down for the deliverable. So when Bonnie is here working on these page level SEO recommendations, he simply has to drop a link here to the sheet or the presentation that he's working on. So that way, when the reviewer is ready, he can come in here and he can easily have access to it without having to chase him down. Again, Bonnie is over in Pakistan. Our reviewer is here in Miami in the United States. That's a 12 hour difference. If you send them a message saying, hey, Bonnie, where is this sheet? He's going to take 12 hours to respond and say, I don't know. And then another 12 hours. So you lose this communication. But again, we wanted to have this hands free flow here, uh, all built into our project management system. So we don't have to do that. Everything is right here when we need it, as we need it to get our work done, as we need it to get done. 
So we use this for a running list of all the clients that we have in our agency. We basically have one cascading flow of every single task that needs to get done with a due date for every single client. And what we do is part of our project management system is we actually give you access to our base project plan that we use for all of our SEO clients. And again, what this allows us to do is get clients onboarded quickly using this templated base project plan that can simply be manipulated by just adding a couple rows here and there. Uh, for example, you know, if we wanted to do a technical audit or if we didn't want to do a technical audit, we can either add a row, we can delete it, uh, we can move the dates on these. So it gives us a very natural and agile flow to build project plans on the fly. And then after we do that, we simply take this, we copy it, and we paste it to the bottom of this, hit filter, and then those tasks are automatically cascaded in to our daily flow of things. Now, we don't give clients access to this, but I'm going to show you how clients can see their tasks updated in real time in just a moment. But before we do that, I want to show you the natural flow. I got to get my head out the way because it's too big. So I want to show you how tasks naturally flow into the deliverables. So, for example, I mentioned that we have these doers and reviewers. The doers are the ones who are managing this task tabs on a daily basis. Our managers are managing the deliverable tab over here. So, for example, let's say Yuri comes in. Uh, he works on the monthly report. He's going to come in here. He's going to market review needed. And then what we've done is we've automatically built this in to push it to the reviewer for him to review what needs to get done. So like I said too, when you put some text in here, I'm going to mark this as review needed, what it's automatically going to do, and you can see here the doer is Bonnie, but when I mark this review needed, what it's going to do is it's automatically going to pull through the link and the text that I need on the deliverable. And it's also going to automatically pull through the reviewer. And that's done when we're building these project plans. So again, we've got this list, these lists of doers that are getting it done. We've got our list of reviewers that are getting it done. Now Caesar doesn't have to come in here and clog up his day going through tasks. He can just come in here to the de deliverables tab. He can log in. He can see what he needs. He can check the sheet, uh, review it. And then when it's done, he'll send it to the client. And then I'll just come over here and mark this task as fully completed. Now, if it needs to be changes made to it, he'll come up here and go to to update needed he'll come in here tag bonnie in a comment and hope bonnie will come back in or year will come back in he'll make the changes needed and then just go through the flow again so again you can see here how we're not interrupting each other's flow we're not stepping on each other's toes we've got that clear separation of labor that allows us to be hyper agile without getting in each other's way so one more thing off the back of that, which is important too, you know, working with SEO, it's not enough to just send a client a deliverable. You do a technical audit, you get a list of 50 different things that need to get done. You send it to them, what happens? They sit on it and nothing gets done. So what we've also done is we built in this actions flow here too. So let me just pull this up for one of our clients. This is CRM.org. Uh, we ran uh, a couple of different audits for them. We ran a Google Analytics audit and a technical SEO audit, right? After we did that and we sent it to them, they went through the tasks, they went through the deliverable flow. We came up with a bunch of recommendations that need to get done. Again, we can't just send it to them and expect it to get done. So what we do is we take those recommendations off the back of those audits and we add them here into the actions tab. So what we built is a flow that we call the tasks, deliverables, actions flow. So again, anytime that we're working on a deliverable, a technical SEO audit, there could be multiple tasks that flow up to it. The doers get it done, the reviewers review it, send it to the client after it's done. After that, anything that comes off the back of that audit, the reviewers will go in and add it here to the actions tab so we have these things tracked. So for example, after we went through and we uh, did the technical audit, Caesar found that there were a bunch of pages internally linked that were broken. So we added it in here. And then he also went ahead and added that the owner of this is for the client. But you can also see here that there's some things that we need to do as well. So what we also do here is after the actions flow, if it's assigned to us, then we'll push it back into the tasks tab for it to get done. So you can see how we've closed the loop on this natural flow that agencies go through tasks, deliverables, actions. And if it's assigned to the client, then every month we're pinging them and making sure that they're getting this done. And it's got everything tracked here. So they everything that they need. And of course, the final tab here is just a running list of our clients that I already showed you. Now, there's so much more than this. You might ask, well, how does the client know if he's getting it done? Now, obviously, clients don't have access to this because we don't want them seeing other clients that we're working with. So what my partner, David Krevit, built is this really slick add-on that interties all of these things together. So all we have to do is manage everything from this one sheet and everything else gets updated. So let me show you how that works. Let me just hit this little drop down here. He built what's called the Google Sheets add-on. So I'm just going to launch a sidebar, get my face out the way. And what this add-on does is it interconnects different Google Sheets and Google Drive so everything is connected with each other without having to go out and update these things. So for example, uh, when I come here and I click on the project management tab, I can easily add in a new client. When I add in this client, I fill in this information after we sign them and it's automatically going to populate the client's tab. What it also does though, which is really, really awesome, is it will automatically create a client folder for them on Google Drive and it will automatically create an individual client workbook for them on Google Drive. So everything that we see here 
pulls through into their file so they don't have to come in and see our main tracking file they just have to check their individual one which is automatically updated for hands-free reporting so let me show you what that looks like so when i come over here to our client list here's crm.org i'm going to open up their client folder so when we add them in via that add-on it automatically creates this folder for them and then everything that we do for them is automatically created in here so this client workbook is automatically created for this client and as you can see it automatically pulls through their project plan. So this looks familiar from over here, right? As we're building the project plan for this client in the root tracker, this file is automatically created and it's going to automatically also pull through all the tasks using this query range. So it uses their uh, client ID as a range to pull through all their tasks done. So as we update the status in the root tracker over here, it automatically updates the status over here and it pulls through all the deliverables that we've done as long as they were added to that spreadsheet. So again, when we're doing monthly reporting, we're basically just sending them a link to the spreadsheet and we don't have to touch anything. As long as we're keeping our project plan updated, this is getting updated as well. What it also pulls through is all the links that we built and I'm going to show you where that's coming from all the content that we built i'm going to show you where that's coming from and then also all the actions so again it has the tasks it has their deliverables clearly laid out and then it also has all the actions that are assigned to them so they know every month what they need to get done without us telling us because we're con continuously pushing this sheet in front of them as well as a data studio monthly report that tracks all their traffic that tracks all their leads all their goals etc but also all the things that we're working on on a monthly basis so they never have to ask us what we're doing they have a link to the spreadsheet they have access to this Google Drive folder where everything that they need is stored in one place and they don't have to ask us for anything. They simply come in here and they check it and it's updated in real time because everything in Drive is obviously updated in real time. But wait, there's more. So I told you that there are more than just this central tracking file. We've also got specific trackers for content management, which I'm going to open up in outreach management, because again, the needs of an SEO agency are so specific. It's not enough to just do task management. We've also got links to build and we've also got content to manage. So we built a separate outreach management tracker that allows us to track all the links that we're building again, all for all the clients, all these clients you saw these automatically pull through as we're updating the clients over here. So again, when I add a client here, it automatically adds them to the outreach management tracker and it automatically adds them as well to the content management tracker. So we have all of our clients that are automatically updated and tied into each other across all the trackers. Because if you're running an SEO agency, you know that your content folks, your links folks, and your SEO folks are probably gonna have a little bit of a different skill set, especially as you grow and scale. So we wanna make sure that these things are staying separate because again, the needs are so specific for an SEO agency. It's not like anything else. There's so many different roles that go into running a campaign. We wanna make sure that these people are separate. They're not all jammed into one Asana list or one base camp project. They have their own little work environment where they can come in and not get in each other's way because links have nothing to do with technical SEO. Content has nothing to do with links. So we wanna make sure again that they've got their own project management trackers, but they're all tied together. So again, anytime that you update content here, anytime that you mark a link live, it's automatically gonna get pushed into this client's file without us touching it. It's using that same uh, query import range formula that's using that product key of the client name to pull through all the information that we need and automatically update their tracker. But guys, wait, there's more. I'm not done yet. So you can also add in a team member here when you hire somebody new. You can add in a writer if you're writing content. Again, you can access all your trackers from here. As I said, you can access all your clients from here, all their drive folders. Again, you never have to touch drive. Everything that you create is automatically added to that drive folder because David is such a smart dude. You get a license key when you use this. You can also manage your team members. So for example, this functions like a piece of software. So like Asana, you can add people and remove people. When you have somebody new who joins your team, you simply add their email in here. They get access. If you get rid of them or if they leave the company, you can remove their email and it automatically removes their access from everything within Drive so they don't have access to the client information anymore. So you don't have to go through and remove access to this, remove access to that. This is all controlled from one email for your agency, just like it is with Google Analytics and Search Console and Data Studio and GTM. That same email that manages all the other Google products that you use every day manages this PM system. And that's another reason why we use Sheets is because, yo, for SEO, we live in Analytics, Search Console, Data Studio, GTM, all these platforms that are owned by Google. Why not just use their built-in system to manage these projects?
So what David also built in here is the ability to access and create new deliverables that you run in your agency every day. So what comes preloaded within this add-on is all the templates that are included within the Blueprint Training. So everything that you see here in this base project plan actually ties directly to a module within the Blueprint Training. We give you the template to do that, technical audit, analytics audit, website quality audit, monthly reporting, keyword research, on-page analysis, everything that you need to run an SEO campaign is included within the Blueprint Training, plus all the videos. But what this then add-on does is it allows you to quickly set up these templates and also add your own in as well. So if you have your own keyword research template, David's built in the ability for you to add in your spreadsheet here and then launch that from within the sidebar here. So for example, let's say I wanna run a competitive analysis. I come over here, I select the client that I wanna run it for, I click make a copy, and then it's gonna automatically add that tracker directly to that client's Google Drive folder. So I don't have to, uh, it's not floating around in space, it's added automatically to their Drive folder. So again, if I set it up, if one of my VA sets it up, I know exactly where it is without having to ask them. I have a task form, it says set up competitive analysis, he sets it up and I know exactly where to get it, I don't have to talk to him at all. So I make a copy of it and then it's up and running. And then once it's up and running too, you have the ability to access all the templates that you built for folks. So if you wanna open a website quality audit, if you wanna open a monthly report, everything is just one click away in your agency. Literally everything within your agency is controlled within the sidebar over here. So if you guys want access to this add-on, uh, what it comes with is uh, all, it comes with all the project plans, it comes with access to the templates that we have preloaded in here for you. It comes with all the training videos, not just for how to run this, but how to manage projects. I think it's super important that you understand not just how this uh, you know, project management works in general, but how to communicate, how to send the right emails, uh, how to structure your team, uh, the tasks, deliverables, uh, actions flow. I have very detailed training videos and all that stuff. So we're basically going to train your next project management or train your staff for you. So you don't have to, and they can understand how to use the system. And every time you add a new staff to your member, you put them through the training videos, they understand how everything works, and you're good. You've got a fully trained staff member who's ready to jump in on day one and add value to your agency. So if you guys want access to this project management suite that just got a massive upgrade, head over to the Blueprint Training. It's only available there. Head over there. You can sign up, get access to it, as well as everything else that I just mentioned. Hopefully we'll see you up there, and if you all have any questions, hit me in the comments below. Peace.